Hello, my name is Pivishna Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics from Devanimal College of Women, Autonomous Villapuram. And today I am going to take a topic about theory of equations. So in that, I am going to take a topic, polynomial equations with real coefficients. So what do you mean by a polynomial equation with real coefficients, we can see now. So let us consider a general polynomial will be of the form a naught x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus a2 x power n minus 2 plus etc up to a n is equal to 0 where a0, a1, a2, etc. up to an are said to be called as real coefficients and its degree will be n and also it has n roots because the highest degree of this equation will be n so it has n roots. So let us be, uh, see some problem. So first problem is solve x power 4 plus 2x cube minus 5x square plus 6x plus 2 equal to 0 and given that a condition 1 plus i is a root. This is a condition we have, they have given so we need to find the roots of the equation so how we need to find the roots of the equation first we need to so we need to find out the degree of that equation the highest degree of the equation will be 4 here so uh, if the highest degree of the equation will be 4 means we need 4 roots but we have one root already in the question itself that is 1 plus i so still we need 3 roots to find it out so we have to solve the solution as given 1 plus i is one of the root as in the question so it's conjugate is 1 minus i. So sum of roots and product of roots we need to find it out. So in order to find a sum of roots and product of root, so the general equation of the root will be x square minus sum of roots into x plus product of root equal to 0. So in that we need to find sum of roots and product of roots. First we need to find sum of roots. Sum of roots will be 1 plus i plus 1 minus i will be 2 and product of root will be we have to product these two roots that is 1 plus i as well as 1 minus i if we product these two roots we get uh, 2 so next we have to find sum of all roots and product of all roots sum of all roots would be we have found we have found that sum of roots is 2 and we know that alpha plus beta will be the sum of the root and alpha beta will be the product of the root so sum of all roots equal to 2 plus alpha plus beta which is equal to the formula will be minus coefficient of x cube divided by coefficient of x power 4 so we have the question so we have to see the question what is the coefficient of x cube here 2 so if the coefficient of x cube is 2 means we have to substitute minus coefficient of x cube that is the coefficient of x cube is 2 divided by coefficient of x power 1 x power 1 coefficient will be 1 so we get value as minus 2 then 2 plus alpha plus beta is equal to minus 2 means we need to find alpha plus beta as well as alpha beta first in case of sum of all roots means we need to find alpha plus beta equal to minus 2 minus 2 will be minus 4 Similarly, product of all roots will be 2 alpha beta is equal to the formula will be constant term divided by coefficient of x power 4. The constant term the given question is 2. 2 divided by coefficient of x power 4 will be 1. So we have to substitute the value and we get the answer as 2. So 2 alpha beta equal to 2 means we need alpha beta alone. So the value will be 1. If we found alpha plus beta equal to minus 4 and alpha beta equal to 1 means la at last we need to find the quadratic equation. The solution will be x square minus sum of roots into x plus product of root equal to 0. That is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta equal to 0. We found alpha plus beta equal to minus 4 here and alpha beta equal to 1. So we just substitute the values here. So we get x power x square plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So at last we need to find the roots. We have one root in the question. So still we need to find three more roots. So for that alpha beta root will be so we have to solve this equation in normal i method we can't solve the equation because we can't get the root so by using formula method the formula method will be x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a here we have to substitute so in this equation a is to be considered as 1 and b is to be considered as 4 and c is to be considered as 1 now, so we have to substitute these values and we get minus 4 plus or minus root of 16 minus 4 by 2 and after we simplify this we get minus 2 plus or minus root 3. So at last plus or minus root 3 means we get two roots that is one is minus 2 plus root 3 and another one root is minus 2 minus root 3. So at last we get two roots. So already in the question we have 1 plus i is one of the root and we have to, we have took that conjugate of that root is 1 minus i this is the second root and at last we found the third and fourth root as 
minus 2 plus root 3 and minus 2 minus root 3. So these are the four roots that we have found from this equation. So this is how we have to find out the quadratic equation for the given root. Not only the fourth root, in type of any nth root we can find the same way. Thank you. Devana Yamal College for Women, Autonomous, Bilipuram, Ungalitir Kalam, Ungal Kail.